All right. So the next scene here we are looking at is what will I be growing? I love to grow all the fungi that can be eaten, uh, not those that are poisonous. And we cannot grow magic mushroom. Just in case you do not know, there's a magic mushroom that will make you high. Okay. So we, we, are, we shall not talk about that. So what are the things, what are the mushroom am I going to grow? Am I going to grow the full buffet of mushroom that, that is going to dilute my attention, my focus? I'm not going to. So I'm going to do it very simple. I'm going to do two types, edible mushroom and medicinal mushroom. And what is the edible mushroom we are talking about? Oyster mushroom. So for you guys out there, if you want to grow for your own self, begin with oyster mushroom because they are the most hardy fella who will survive in any circumstances. All right. So if it's going for your own use and own consumption and you're not worried about production yield, don't worry, you will make it. So we focus on oyster and oyster got many uh, species. You have the Miss Pinky, you have the Mr. Bhutan, which I, I named them in this form, and you have the mini yellow, which uh, occasionally we grow uh, out from our Phuket farm. And uh, of course, Lingzi is a dietary supplement. And Lingzi, I believe uh, everybody here will know what is that. And the English name, or rather the Greek name for this is called Canadema lucidium. And this is the best species that is suitable to grow in this environment. Okay. And this is our core product. Thailand edible mushroom is our core product. And once we establish that, once I establish that this is going to be the two types of species I'm going to grow, I will be very focused to grow them well and grow them efficiently. So don't try to go and do so many uh, 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 varieties or species uh, in, the, in your startup because your attention span will be diluted. And especially mushroom growing, um, the farm requirement to grow them are different from different species. Eh? So um, this is my experience that we should focus on one or two at most, not 10 or five. And please bear this in mind, do not grow what you love. Eh? Grow what the market requires and demand. Because now we are doing a commercial farm here. So the growing what you love, unless you've got very deep pocket. Eh? Otherwise, grow what the market wants to buy and want to eat. And not what you think you love, you like, or beautiful. You know? For example, Miss Pinky and the Mini Yellow, very colorful, very lovely, right? Let me tell you, the Thai people don't, don't like to eat them, eh? except the mini, uh, mini Yellow. Uh, Miss Pinky love a uh, beautiful color, very attractive, you know? but when it comes to eating them, I tell you, it's like eat consuming leather, you know, you know how they like, right? Uh, so they, that one don't sell, uh. that one is only for, for, for excitement to, to beautify the, 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 the surrounding. Okay, so grow what the market demand, which is very important. And in Thailand, Phuket, oyster, it's a mass market product because you will see them in your tom yam, you see them in your omelet, you see them in your veggie. Okay, right? You have been to Thailand, you should know. And uh, Vivian, you are there, you should know. And um, when I start to show them the yellow color one, the pink color one, straight away they say, can eat meh? In Thailand, I guess that is what they mean. So I say, of course can, let me show you. No? So uh, then I, I told them, if you want to have good taste, you go for the mini yellow, it's very beautiful very succulent, you can do what form you want. But if you want to consume the pinky, you make sure you fry them. Only then it tastes good. But if you're going to cook like as what you cook for your tom yam, don't come and blame me later on. You will not taste good. Okay? So focus on one or two species or varieties to begin with. Only after that, you increase your range. Okay, the next... Um, Level of knowledge, skill, and experience. Uh, a little bit of my uh, history, uh, I mean, how I get started. So to cut it short, I fell in love with them in 2017. Love, uh, and, uh, no, you know, if you are in love before, you should know what, what do I mean by that. So if you are in love with them, and so which part of the uh, mushroom actually 
fascinate me is actually the gills, uh, the gills. So when you see uh, the mushroom gills and, and, and they start to emit spores in the, in, in, um, in the dark, it, it excites me, somehow it excites me. So I went into deep research. So where is the best place to go and research? YouTube, uh, right? right? So we, I go into YouTube and I, I go and find out how, how they actually grow mushroom. And I go and learn in theory and videos and I put into practice. Literally, I put into practice and I do my tissue culture in the master bedroom toilet, uh, which we don't use it for anything else, but it's still a toilet. So I do that. And then uh, after that, I, I did the culture successfully, I, I do the bags and then I, I use the walkway you know, to, to pack up the bags. And, but that is so much I know. So the question is, if you want to go further, is this enough? What you learn from YouTube is always what they want you to see. What they don't want you to see will not be shown. All right? So I went and looked for a master that I can learn from, from Singapore. And uh, I can't find one. So I ended up back in Thailand in 2018. I spent almost a year traveling in different provinces, learning from different masters in different commercial farm setting. Okay. And this is one of the farm that I, I went and, and learned. And um, we do have our disadvantage. I have my disadvantage is because I don't understand what they say. And when I approach them to learn, they might be a bit skeptical to teach to a foreigner. All right. Uh, but fortunately, not all farmers are like that. So I depend on my the other four senses, apart from the hear, hearing part. So I observe, I ask, and because I do know some knowledge about mushroom growing technique, I can relate and close up very easily. Okay. So this is one of the farm in Patutani. All right. Patutani, uh, which is, sorry, non uh suburb of Bangkok. Okay. So I went there, I studied for, I think, about a few days. And I went to other places like um, Korak, the northeastern side, and then uh, the north side, you know, that they have a lot of uh, mushroom, uh, mushroom farm. Okay. So if you really want to go into commercial uh, farming, it's no longer a hobby. So you do not go for your own needs. You're going for the market demand. And, and you need to really need uh, to improve on the scale and your knowledge in that aspect. Vegetables, I can't help you because I'm not good at that. But when it comes to mushroom, DIY is only to a certain extent. That's it. For your own phone satisfaction. But if you want to grow for the industry, you want to grow for the market demand, you better make sure you, you learn from the master, okay? Who are already uh, doing it commercially.